generic greetings and welcome to Bacastled. Today's beverage is a nice glass of grapefruit juice with juicy bits naturally. So Bacastled is essentially a city builder with an emphasis on defence. You have a day-night cycle where in the daytime you have to expand, build and generally manage your citizens and city and then at night time you have to defend against an increasing amount of enemies as the day goes by and you can do so by either attacking the army directly or probably better is to uh, build and then man barricades and defences, towers etc. It's a game I've played for just over an hour so still a first impressions only but I've played enough to know that I'm quite liking the game at this stage anyway so I wanted to do a series on it so this is that we're going to go through and play some of the game I don't know how far we'll get I don't know whether we'll be wiped out very early on or whether we manage to get to a point where we can call it on our own terms either way I should point out that it is in early access so the typical disclaimers apply nothing you see is final everything is subject to change etc etc there might be more stuff uh, needed to be added as well as obviously bug fixes and blah 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 either way let's go to new game and I'll show you a little bit of it. I'm getting a very stronghold vibe off the game which is always a good sign because I very much like those games. Anyway, I'm going to go for a game duration of unlimited because I've recently finished a 15 day um, map there so you know what I think I don't want to get to a point where we are just about to complete it and we're still enjoying playing so I'd rather say unlimited it means that yes we will be eventually uh, wiped out I guess but we may be able to get to a stage where we can call the series on our own terms. Map type you've got things like castle on a small hill, castle on a big hill, flatland. I've tried a couple of these but I really don't like like the flatland for example it's just a little bit boring. I think we're going to go with castle on a small hill which again is the default and then we'll stick with default for pretty much everything. I am going to turn on the tutorial simply because as I said I've only played a about an hour of the game so yeah I'll just I'll keep it on and why not and uh, let's just see how we get on. <sighs> nice beverage indeed. So here we go. This is our advisor, uh, Solchris. Your Majesty, choose a site for the new castle and we'll begin to rebuild the kingdom. So let's go ahead and do that. We have, actually, what I'll do, can I, can you pause the game? Is there a pause in the game? Uh, key bindings. There is not a pause in the game, but I guess I can slow the time down if I need to. Quick rundown on the UI. All of our resources are on the top there. So you've got sunstone, which is for building units, military type stuff. Food, obviously for people, uh, stone for buildings, same as wood, and then you've also got special resources, and then you've got population increase as well as the mood and uh, your overall day. And the main one to look at is this sort of sun bit at the top here that notes how long we have left before basically we're about to get attacked. And obviously in the centre is our main play field here. So let's go ahead and build a castle. I want to build it uh, probably in a high rope area. Over here seems quite nice but I guess hmm, we can only really build here. It's only giving me the one option. So I guess I'm going to place it... Um, at the back here, uh, we'll place it there, and then it uh, magically gets built. <laughs> yeah, it's automatically getting built there, but we do have a worker, and now you can see at the top, this is now slowly counting down. We have six minutes, by the look of it, in real time for that to be sorted. Great, use WSD to move the camera around, figure that out. Rotate with middle mouse or Q and E, yeah, figure that one out. And new solar ones appear at the castle. The solar ones are these residents here. They've got a very weird aesthetic. I don't know why they've got like basically a full face mask <laughs> anyway, yes. Um, what do we need to do now? We need to collect wood. They recommend building a sawmill, so let's go ahead and build said mill. The saws. Uh, I'm going to place the sawmill in there. It's going to actually ironically remove a tree. Um, the way it works is obviously you assign people to buildings and then they'll crack on with whatever they've been assigned to. So sawmill, they will go and indeed saw wood. Um, the good thing about it is that uh, these trees are not removed permanently they'll be removed and then replaced with a sapling which will then grow and then you can keep it so he's got like a renewable resources going on there so we've collected wood which is good and we now need to build some housing and we'll build the housing on i think this side here i'm just holding right click to rotate that and i'm just going to place it um i wanted to place it like close to the edge there i'll place it there that should be fine it takes 150 wood to build that i'm going to build a couple more i think um can I place this in here? It is not allowing me to place it, which is very strange. Is it because it's too far towards that side? I think it is. Um, can I place it there? We'll place it there. 
cool. So we've got all these uh, trees in front that I don't want to delete. So yeah, you can see the, the workers are running off to gather these resources. Now that we've got these homes, it's increasing our max population. So the current maximum is five and we have four population. However, as soon as we build this one, it should go up by, is each one, is it enough for two? Yeah, it's two. Two people per house. So, that's fine. You should cap the nearest, capture the nearest cell with the resources to build something and collect it. So, I need to get... Well, we need to do food. And the nearest cell with food is to the right here. This is... Um, capturable so we will capture that. And you can see it now increases our empire size. We've captured this... Is it a hex? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, it is... It's not... An, not a perfect hex, but I think it is a hexagon. There's one, two, three, four, five, six sides. Yeah. Anyway, so we need to build some sort of some sort of food gathering building. This will probably be a, this won't be a field. That'll be a farm. Yeah. You can see when you click on these here, you've got. Uh, let me just drop that off. A farm, a field, hunter's hut, and a fisherman's hut. You can only place one of these buildings in at any one time. But uh, I'm going to place this one in. I guess just place it right in the middle, why not? There you go. And then they'll go ahead and crack on and build that. Good. And, um, oh, what the hell was that? Oh, it's a tree <laughs> tree going down. Uh, you may also notice that we've got some wolves around here. We've got a couple of wolf dens uh, and a couple of wolves roaming around. We have some deer on the left-hand side there. That'll be a hunter's place. So there's the hunter's place. We've got a field which goes in... A completely flat area which I'm not seeing oh there we can put one here but we have to clear the den out and also fisherman's hut which goes naturally uh, where there's water because that's normally where fish are unless the cave fish you understand and um, nobody's gonna get that reference right so I've assigned people to the farm uh, you can also if you wanted to uh, spend 10 stone to increase the amount of workers you can assign to it only one at the moment and we don't have stone anywhere anyway great sunny folks now have homes and food keep of the good work my lord me lord <laughs> me lord so there's no tutorial uh there's no tutorial to uh, options here they're not giving us anything so let's just check down the bottom we've got housing we've got a builder's guild which members of the guild are always ready to repair uh or construct a building of any complexity they spend energy on other activities either to save energy because of pride mm, the build stuff cool got a tavern uh after a hard day of work or a long journey, it should be nice to unwind a little with some beverages and libations. We've got wells, we've got markets, we've got all sorts of things. In terms of resources, you can see we've got like windmills and all the huts that I mentioned, and also uh, workshops for stone quarries. What's the windmill do? Increases wheat production and saves a lot of time in flower production. Always place close to your wheat fields. Alright, fair enough. My lord, night is coming. That means. Uh, that moon monsters will attack us. These warriors will help us defend them. So let's see our warriors there. Uh, you can find out how much time is left before the attack by hovering at the circle at the top. So one minute and 12 seconds. Then the torches change colour to blue to tell you which side they're coming from. So let's see. Yeah, we can see we've got a blue, blue torch there and a blue torch there. So that's where they're coming from. They're coming from this direction. So I'm just going to put them in the middle there. I was very much wanting to wipe these out, uh, all of these wolves, but sending them out now would probably be not a overly fantastic idea. Um, what can we build on that there? Is that just just a big bit of land? I think it is just a big bit of land. Um, let's go ahead and build, uh, capture it, and then we'll go to general here, and I'm going to place housing on the other side. We're basically building council houses now. We've got a terraced house <laughs> uh, project going on, but at least we're being efficient with our space, and uh, that's the excuse I'm using. Uh, for a lack of imagination and creativity, but there you are. Let's place those in and we got some nice back-to-back -back housing We have probably less than 20 seconds left. We have 18 seconds left and counting each tile as well has uh, certain bonuses so you have attractiveness bonus because the land is very nice to look at and that will increase the mood and as such the worker spawn rate so there you are uh, we currently have 7 out of 11 people uh, we got Oh, here we go. It uh, Night falls quick on this place. And we can see we've got our first set of moon monsters coming in there. So they're going to charge towards us. I don't know what their beef is. I don't know why they're wanting to wipe us out. Uh, <laughs> apart from being the opposite side of the same coin, uh, I guess. Yeah, that's, that's it. Now that we've wiped them out, that is the end of that attack. You either wipe them out or you last... Uh, the full season there, uh, the full the full night, should I say, which is 
a couple of minutes. Excellent, made it through the night, my lord. Build an archery range and train at least five archers for the night. But remember, our warriors consume sunstone. If we run out, then warriors begin to lose health. You can also build a tower near the next attack area or surround our castle with a wall. Either way, military and archery range. I'm going to place our archery range in here. I'm going to, I think this is going to be our sort of military zone, this one, and a bit of housing as well. So there's our, um, there's our archery range there. It's also telling us to build a wall and a tower. We've got a fence or a wall. I'm going to build a wall and you see it has two sides. Actually, it's better if we go to the other side there and you can see we can denote which side is prominent and it means that we can actually get onto one side of this. And I will probably build a tower on... Uh, I'll probably build a tower there as well so we can then get onto that wall. And that's uh, going to be that pretty much sorted. We also need some more sunstone. Uh, we've got this sunstone down here. I'm going to capture that with some wood and then go over to resources and I want a sunstone quarry but at the moment I don't have the 300 wood required because these things do take quite a bit to uh, to do. We do however have 900. Actually we're starting to lose some sunstone and I'm going to set up five archers. You can train two at a time but you can queue up as many as you like I think. We've got two of them training there. And that's cracking on. And if we wanted to, we could assign these archers when they're done to to these walls. If I, I think you can assign anyone to it. Yeah, you can assign anyone to it. But I don't see much point in these guys being on the wall unless they come with ladders and stuff. Either way, what I'm going to do is bring these guys down. And I'm going to start attacking the wolves there. And I want to set up a rally point so they move over. So there you are. And I want to start dealing with all of these wolves. I'm actually going to place these up the top there. Because they should shoot the wolves from up top, I think. Are they going to do that if I tell them to attack that? They are. Yes, they are actually uh, firing away there and attacking. I've also noticed that we have, from these archers here, you can see we've got now the, this blue all the way around. Uh all the way around these guys so uh, this tower so I'm assuming that that tower is going to be attacked oh there we go we've managed to clear that out and we get 300 sun uh, sunstone yeah good right over to building and I want to build a sunstone workshop which I will place in here and then obviously assign people to that I also want to probably capture probably that area as well and build in another I think I've build another sawmill perhaps it's 100 to build the sawmill so it's taking quite some time um let's got put that guy up there yeah and these guys can come down at least this is clear now this field obviously there's several ways you could potentially defend um you could build a very strong defense around your main keep and call it done or you could build like multiple layers of defense and as i said there's probably multiple ways to defend i'm most likely going to build around almost what we have now and then anything out of there will have like we'll have gates and such and then well, let me just assign some people to this thing because we haven't yet done that uh yeah and most likely as i said we'll uh, have it so that we are those guys from that song are going over to do that they are actually yeah that's pretty good yeah, I'll have the, the walls around the outside and then I'll have like little outpost bits where we uh, will more lightly defend that. Anyway, I think I'm going to have, like I say, another sawmill which I will place in... I mean, it doesn't really matter where we place it, I don't think. But I'll place it... Let's try and try, try to place it so it's not going to demolish anything. So, the sawmill... Mm, that's going to demolish that one. That's going to demolish that one. I guess... Let's just place it there. I know it's demolishing that tree, but at least it's out the way. Cool. Uh, we can build some more. We do have more options for building. Um, a wood wall would go well there, but I don't know if we're going to build any more. Um, I do want to go probably build another five arches and then assign one and then two people. A bit difficult to select there to that. Just so we get some more wood. Increase, obviously, the amount of walls we can potentially build and we also probably need some more housing so I'm going to continue on with uh, with that approach there of building more housing and this is probably the last line around here that we'll focus on. We have mood plus two which is fine 
and and all these arches I'm just gonna put up the top there actually I might put some on the wall well I'll put some on the wall why not they'll actually go in that tower and then around if we didn't have that tower I think we would have to use these ramps here so let's just spin the camera around and then you can place ramps along there so it's very functional it just it just seems to work there and he says after losing some arches where are all the arches <laughs> where are my arches uh, oh some are actually inside by the by the look of it so can I not tell them to go there Yes, I can. Just curious that they were <laughs> inside there. Okay, fine. Um, I think I will put them at the top, to be honest. It seems to be a better thing to do. And I have no idea what they're going to come at us with. Not a clue. We shall see. The fun is in finding out. We're currently on negative food, so that is suboptimal, to say the least. I will go over to... Let's have a look. Oh! The rate at which our people spawn depends on the mood in the kingdom. It's better. Oh, the better it is, the faster they appear. To boost your mood, you can build a tavern and assign workers to it, and also install a couple of fountains or hero statues. The sunny ones just adore them, right? So we'll do just that. And oh, as you can see, what's happened is we have <laughs> these uh, enemies here who have spawned and are coming towards our tower, but. Because there's some neutral enemies here, the wolves are the ones that have... Uh, <laughs> uh, the wolves are the ones that have uh, taken them out. So I will, I will guess, start to take out this thing. We might as well do that. I'm also going to buy this and get a farm going. So we should train new troops. It's wanting us to train how many archers? Oh, right, I thought it was going to... We have to train even more archers. Yeah, we have to train some archers, so let's see. Um, I will set three on the go, and I can now see that the defense point is up the top here, so I'm going to remove all these guys and send them over there, get them out of that tower. There's no point in occupying the tower if there's no one to, uh, if there's no one attacking here. But I do want to go to resources and to our, what would it be, a field? It is a field, yes, the field will go just, uh, there, that is quite nice, and then I will place a windmill back here as well. Can I place one back there? Mm, place it there. The hill a bit. Oh, there we go. We place it in there. Yeah, quite nice. And that will generate more stuff. Good. Uh, we've cleared that one out as well, so that's fine. Bring all these guys down for the defense. I'll most likely take out the wolf den as well. But obviously I'm a bit concerned with the like, we haven't got any stone, so I'm going to get that. Go once again, resources. Oh, and you should really assign people to this. Although, are we maxed out? No, we're still getting population. Um, my concern is that I don't have... Uh, mood is currently 1 or 5, so it is positive. But it's not ideal, is it? So I think we need to get... I think we need to get a tavern in. Get some beverages flowing. Uh, tavern, yes. And where can we place a tavern? Well, we can place it anywhere we want, actually, by the look of it. But let's see if we can place it in... Up there might be quite nice. That's a place for a tower on the corner, but placing up there will hopefully do the job. We can see now the windmill is working, and the wheat field is also there as well. We have another worker which I can assign to that. So we now have two people assigned to the field. Just going to order these together. They are all clumped together, these guys. I can obviously move the arches around if I if I wanted, but at this stage we'll leave it. There is uh, more workers chopping that down. We've got how many sawmills? We've got two sawmills, decent amount of wood, and there's another person turned up, which I'll assign to the tavern, which should hopefully increase our mood by a lot. Currently we're on minus two, and it's gone up to plus two now. Maybe because of the tavern? Who knows? Either way, positive food, very positive wood, although we're maxed out on wood. So I'm going to uh, take this opportunity and, I guess, build oh, build a wall. So we'll build a wall, a wall. Um, round there's not too bad, actually. But I think I'll just build these two in first. Their mood is currently plus two, which is all right. Army is only 18 units and population is 
maximum maxed out at 15, so we need more housing. Um, also, we need a door in here somewhere as well, because at the moment, that is a little bit of concern. Getting in and around. Oh, we've got this open here, so that's actually not too much of a problem, is it? I'm probably going to capture this, and this is going to be another uh, housing area, although we can probably fit some more housing in here. We also have decorations to place as well, but that requires stone, which is obviously something I have not got. Let's go ahead and add in the housing, and I guess I could put them up here as well, couldn't I, to be fair? There's no reason why we can't. There we go. Don't know if it's a good or bad thing I'm doing there, but it's what we're doing. And, oh, that's all sorted as well now. That's good. That wall is now in. How are we doing for time? Two minutes and six seconds remaining. I'm going to tell those guys to go over here. And we're going to deal with these wolves. You can see I've told them to attack and they've sort of split up now. So I'll double click on all of those and I'll let them just fire away, fire away. Yeah, I'll tell them to fire against the bigger one there. There's a slightly larger wolf there. Don't know if you can see. Oh yeah, that's dealt with. Right, take that out. <laughs> Job done. Uh, I'm going to sign another person to the tavern because why not? And I think... Oh, we're just off the amount of wood needed. I don't know how many sawmills that we need, but, you know, because we're going to go for wood walls over, well, anything else at this stage, it's going to be wood walls first. I don't know whether or not we need more sawmills. Maybe, maybe not. Either way, let's recruit another five people. 19 population total. Looks like the wolf den has been taken out. We have a minute left. So we don't really have much of a choice. I'm just going to put the defenders here. Right here. Because these two torches are blue. Oh, stone quarry. I'm going to place that in. Um, just place it there. So yeah, I, I know these two are blue. But it indicates the attack's coming this way. But they may then attack this building. And I really don't want that to happen. So there you are. What else... Don't we have? We don't have a gate here, but I don't think it's necessary considering you can go around that way. We have people assigned here, and the quarry is now getting built as well. I'm gonna just change that so we have our arches over there. That's fine. Um, that quarry is getting built, but we've got 20 seconds left before another attack. I don't have any. Got a tavern. Mood is good. Don't have a church because you need stone, and I don't have a well. But I am going to assign that person to the stone quarry there. But our attack will be right now. You see, as soon as we get to the night time, everybody basically just goes inside and hides. <laughs> and uh, oh, there are they coming in already. They are swarming towards us. They don't have anything of great note. They do have armor on and shields and axes, but we also have shields and swords we have steel and we also have bone arrows and oh sadly one of our archers has been has been killed back to day again and is that a resident stuck there are there i think that resident is stuck you know i think they're actually stuck i'm going to delete that house to allow them to well move out um and then place this back in with a bit more of a gap and I'll sign people to that quarry. Quarry's now working which is good. We have good mood. I don't yet have a well but I do want to make a well. You never know when a bucket of cool, cool clean water will come in handy. Yeah that's correct. So I'm going to place the well um, just there. Why not? So our next attack is coming from... Oh, it's coming from the exact other... <laughs> the opposite side so I'm just having a quick look around because we've got a fair amount of time um, there's some wolves over there and there's just some there's no wolves over here okay I'm gonna send these guys over to the left hand side and deal with those wolves we might as well and then obviously it'll come back down we have 900 wood so once again we're maxed out on that so I will go ahead and build some walls so wall there wall there and that's all the walls I can realistically build at this stage we probably need a little bit more housing, but not a great amount at this stage. We'll just put one in there. Fits in quite nicely. Mood is still positive, which is alright. And I think 
once we've got this done, I'll probably put a tower in either either side there, and this will be another entrance. So yeah, we'll have to see what happens there. But you can go to the left, see if we've dealt with this. We have not dealt with this. Thought that it would automatically do it, but they have not. So the wolves don't uh, really last long when you've got all these archers. <laughs> yeah, they're taking care of business very nicely. And then tell them to attack that. Which is quite strange because they're pretty much shooting. <laughs> uh, yeah, no scope. It's right next to it. And we're getting some sunstone when we're doing this. Uh, you can see we're actually at negative sunstone. The more military you have, the higher the upkeep. So we do need another another way to get sunstone. Oh, good grief. I've told them to move and then attack. And we're trying to move. And then yeah, you can see it's gone not exactly a plan. But all of the wolves are now gone so we can take care of that and there's some more and I guess we'll just bring them down bring the guys up here because this is where the attack is coming from so there we are I'm going to go to this here and I'm going to add one more workspace it costs 300 to do that but I think it's worth it and we'll assign people to that we have mood it's still not overly positive but I think some decorations like one of these little shrines and fountain. And if I can place it like that would be nice. Yeah, cool. Job done. Right, let's uh, build nine troops. Why not? Why not? Because we're not getting... Oh no, we're getting 125 per minute. Sunstone. Obviously a lot of our sunstone has come from just straight up uh, killing wolves and destroying the dens. What we don't have is a barracks. So I'm going to build a barracks right next door to this. A little bit of a gap in between just so we can get past. And I don't know where the best place for a tower is. Here, perhaps? Place a tower there. Yeah. I don't know if we need to permanently have the walls occupied or whether it's better just to have an army. I'm guessing column A and column B. All, all depends on the situation. There's mood increase as well, which is good. We've got people in the tavern. we got good housing. And it's basically just asking us to make more arches, so I'll continue doing that. I am, however, going to probably get I'm gonna spend 30 I think I'll spend 30 stone on increasing the size of the stone quarry I'm trying to see where the attacks coming from I think it's coming from I think it's still gonna attack there it is yeah it's still gonna attack this oh they're now attacking that tower okay fine um, if I go for you can see they're actually level up as well, these guys. I didn't know that. Cool. Um, I'm going to put them at the base here. I'm going to put some arches in the top. So you can really fill them if you need to. And there's a worker. Oh, that's an archer recruit. See, as soon as, the, as soon as we get people, the population, they just go straight towards working uh, or becoming archers. So, just because of the the orders that we've set up. It's not a problem. It's not a problem. Food is uh, negative, so we might assign some more people to this farm. You can actually close the gate, open and close it. I don't know why you would need to do that, but you can. <laughs> but we'll add another workspace in there when we can. Um, there are there is one archer at the bottom there. Can I not? I don't think I can. Yeah, I think that's pretty much full. That. And you can also build a trebuchet, a ballista, an upgrade to a stone wall. And you've got door health as well. So there'll be three doors. One at the back, well, on the way in, and then one on the left and one on the right. And apparently you zoom in more and it gets really loud as they're hitting that stone. <laughs> Fair enough. Sunstone, we're on just positive, uh, positive 25. The nearest source of sunstone to ourselves is... Um, 
to the north there's one there and there's another one to the south okay fair enough i'm going to continue building the walls that is the um nature of the beast here that we want to do that but i do want to build a door and i will build a door in looks like i'm going to build it here i was going to try and build it there but it's just not going to fit we do not have the room i should probably place as well oh night time night time um let's see oh there they are they're attacking from this side um and they have arches as well now okay i will send my arches to deal with their arches because basically <laughs> all of their melee units are getting absolutely annihilated from our arches in the tower which i'm assuming increases their range and there we go we have taken those out that is another successful defense okay i think we will leave it there for now that's been a bit of a castle very much enjoy that and we are going to continue on next attack is from this corner here so i will just place these guys in and bring the arches down as well because i see no reason to keep them up there um but yeah, there is the first episode. So hope you have enjoyed this one. Next episode, we'll continue building the walls. Keep an eye on our resources because obviously there's certain things that we just uh, currently uh, are a little bit short on. I'm just assigning more people to the quarry and the food there to increase our increase our resources. But yeah, next episode we will crack on. We'll see. We'll through the list and see what we haven't got. Because um, there's a couple of things like, for example, we haven't got a church, we haven't got all of the arches like trained up. We probably need some more housing and mood is currently a bit low as well. So overall, happy with that. Next episode, we'll crack on and build some more stuff. Hope you have enjoyed it and for what it is the series thus far. Comments in the comments. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.